The HAL Tekus MK2, also known as the Medium Weight Fighter MWF, is India's ambitious endeavor to develop a state-of-the-art multirole combat aircraft. Designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, in collaboration with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, the Tekus MK2 aims to enhance the capabilities of the Indian Air Force IAF, by replacing aging fleets like the SEPECAT Jaguar, the Su Mirage 2000, and Mikoyan MIG-29. Design and Structure the Tekus MK2 boasts a length of 14.6 meters and a wingspan of 8.5 meters, making it larger than its predecessor, the Tekus MK1. This increased size allows for a higher payload capacity of 6,500 kg and an internal fuel capacity of 3,400 kg, enabling extended range and endurance. The aircraft features a tailless compound delta wing configuration with close coupled canards, enhancing maneuverability and aerodynamic performance. The use of composite materials and radar absorbent coatings contributes to a reduced radar cross-section, providing a degree of stealth capability. Propulsion and performance. Powered by the General Electric F414INS6 afterburning turbofan engine, the Tekus MK2 delivers a maximum thrust of 98 kN. This engine choice ensures improved specific fuel consumption and performance over the F404 engine used in the MK1 variants. The aircraft is designed to achieve a top speed of Mach 1.8 and a combat radius of approximately 1,500 km. The inclusion of an in-flight refueling probe further extends its operational range. Avionics and Systems The Tekus MK2 is equipped with advanced avionics centered around multi-sensor data fusion. Key features include, UTAM AESA radar, an indigenous active electronically scanned array radar capable of detecting targets with a radar cross-section as small as 0.0001 square meters. Infrared Search and Track IRST, system, allows passive target acquisition without emitting detectable signals. Unified Electronic Warfare Suite UEWS, provides comprehensive electronic countermeasure capabilities. Digital Flight Control Computer DFCC, enhances flight stability and control. Software-defined radio-based tactical data link, ensures secure communication and network-centric warfare capabilities. Cockpit and Pilot Interface the cockpit is designed with a pilot-centric approach, featuring Wide Area Display WAD, a touch-sensitive panoramic screen providing critical flight information. Wide Angle Holographic Head-Up Display HUD, projects essential data within the pilot's line of sight. Hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS configuration, allows pilots to manage controls efficiently without removing hands from primary flight inputs. Armament and multi-role capability. With 11 hardpoints, the Tekus MK2 can carry a diverse array of weapons, including Air-to-air -air missiles, MICA, ASRAAM, Meteor, Astra Air-to-surface missiles, Ramosing, Long-Range Air-Launched Cruise Missiles, LRALCM Guns, 30mm GSH-31 Cannon This versatility enables the aircraft to perform various roles such as air superiority, ground attack, maritime strike, and reconnaissance missions Indigenous development and strategic significance. The Tekus MK2 represents a significant stride in India's pursuit of self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Initially featuring 82% indigenous content, plans are in place to increase this to over 90% with the domestic production of its engine. The development involves collaboration among key Indian organizations like Bharat Electronics Limited BEL, Bharat Dynamics Limited BDL, and various DRDO laboratories, fostering innovation and reducing dependency on foreign suppliers. Operational Timeline and Export Potential As of early 2025, the first prototype of the Tekus MK2 is expected to roll out by the end of the year, with the maiden flight plan for the first quarter of 2026. The IAF has committed to procuring 110 to 120 units, forming six squadrons, with potential for additional orders. The aircraft's competitive features and cost-effectiveness have garnered interest from 16 countries, positioning it as a viable alternative to Western combat aircraft like the F-16 Block 70 and Saab Gripen E.